best friends in the crypto world, Jeffrey Tucker of the American Institute for Economic Research. Jeffrey, got so great to see you yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, thank you. The, uh, the Bitcoin, North American Bitcoin Conference. Now, you were a speaker yeah. here, uh, and you were telling me just a little bit ago about what you spoke about, which I totally didn't expect. Well, this is my fifth year at this conference, by the way. So I've seen, you know, from the very beginning, all the way back, what was that, 2014, something like that. And uh, I, you know, everybody's talking about the crypto industry. I went in really with a deep history lesson about the history of the American default in, 19, American default. in 1933. I mean, FDR becomes president, he shuts the banks for a week, he confiscates all the gold, he devalues the dollar, and then invalidates every gold contract. That's like Banana Republic kind of stuff. And I, the reason I told the story was just to illustrate the possibility uh, well, the reality that it did happen and the possibility that it could happen again, because that's, that's what these guys always like to do. They like to cite historical precedent. So uh, it relates to the crypto problem because um, in 1933, the response to the American people was to hodl uh, dollars and gold, right? And that created the basis for the post-war boom. In 2008, same thing, similar thing happened. The velocity of money crashed. Everybody just went to where safety was, and that's when we saw crypto. Co coincidentally, the same time that uh, you know Bitcoin started. That's right, and and Bitcoin was started as an alternative to the national money. It's a global asset that belongs to individuals, and so in that sense, it's a new safe haven. They didn't have that opportunity in 1933. My point is that we have that today. And, and that's a very important innovation, and I think it's a histor historically uh, significant one. Now, so let's talk about the default a little bit. Uh, I, I don't have the exact figure, but I think the debt, not the annual deficit, is something like $21 trillion. It was, I mean, these are just astronomical we numbers. Know, we don't even know what these numbers mean, but if you look at the unfunded liabilities, it gets us up into the hundreds of trillions, even $220 trillion. So what do you think it is that, why, why would we not uh, pay our our debt, and and I ask this in light of you know the worst, the longest government shutdown ever when Congress and the administration can't get their so stuff you're together. The right questions. I think this shutdown is extremely significant because I think it's going to show, uh, illustrate, or really what, fuel what, what, a, a loss. Enforcement of death, maybe. Yeah, it's a loss of confidence in our public institutions, right? I and mean, the whole the reason the U.S. government didn't become a banana republic after 1933 is that people still had confidence in the system. Smooth talking, radio voices. PhDs from Columbia, you know, that could go a long way. But now with the shutdown, it's like, wait, the system no longer even works. So the question is, what happens when the Fed is trying to unload its balance sheet and also intimidated to not raise rates in light of the administration's demands? And uh, so it's caught between a rock and a hard place. At some point, what happens if a rating agency did what it did last time, like five years ago, and start to reassess the quality of American debt? and that could trigger a global uh, disaster. So you're... And so that's why I am a crypto enthusiast. I really do believe that before you even buy any kind of cryptocurrency, you kind of understand what they're talking about and why Bitcoin was created and why the dollar, although it's strong and it looks like it'll never go down uh, in any global currency that's just based on debt that a country prints out, um, may not, it's like musical chairs, uh, it's great until all the chairs are taken and then you're the one left out and that could definitely happen with any kind of fiat currency. So let me know your thoughts on that and I will talk to you soon.